Hi there, everyone. Today I am going to be doing uh, the path again. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments that a lot of people didn't understand the last uh, path video that I've done. And uh, so I thought I would go through here and I would work on doing a couple of shapes. Um, there's especially one person saying that they've watched many videos and they still don't understand how to use the path tool. Um, now, when you use the pass tool, uh, it's not like Photoshop. Photoshop's got a feature where they got uh, some presets and pass where you can make shapes and stuff like that. Um, GIMP got a plugin for that, but I'm not going to do the plugin. I'm just going to rework the pass and we're just going to go ahead and get in here and do it all by hand. Um, I think that's the easiest way and that's the best way to learn how to use the pass tool. Um, the pass tool is, uh, at first, when you first start using it, it can be a pain and it's, it's hard to, um, get used to, uh, especially if you are a person that uses a tablet a lot when you draw and stuff like that. Um, I suggest that you download something like this with shapes and stuff. And if you just strictly want to use a pen, um, on your tablet to do this, uh, this is the best way to practice. I'm not going to use the tablet today. I'm just going to use my mouse. Um, so the person asked um, how they can make shapes. Well, uh, like especially like arrows and stuff. The easiest way to do this um, is to download an image and to just go ahead and trace around the image. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here on one of these arrows. Uh, we'll probably do this one. And so I'm just going to go around it. I'm going to click just once and then click again. And then here, and I'm just going to follow around this shape just like this. And then when you go to connect, uh, connect it, you just want to hold down control and click and there it's connected. And so now if I, turn this off right here, you'll see that we have a shape. And we could ma always make this uh, shape bigger if you just press uh, shift T. And but we want to put it over here on let's see, path right here. And let's come back over here and let's click back on our path and let's turn it on so we can see it. And let's go ahead and click on our path. And then we could just go ahead and scale up our path just like that. And we can make it bigger just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and click scale. And then I'm going to press M on my keyboard. And I'm going to come over here and move this to the path over here in the tool options. You, some of you guys might have it different. Um, I'm a, I use Photoshop a lot. So, that's the reason why mine is set up over here. It's just easier for me to have everything over here, just like how I have on my Photoshop. But uh, the move tool and then your tool options, which they might be docked over here, but uh, you could undock your docks too, and you could dock them like I just docked tools over here and move them back over here and redock them. So they're dockable. And so your move tool, just you want to make sure that it's set on path. That way you can move it. And then if you go to your scale tool, like shift T is the shortcut for your scale tool. You just want to make sure that's set to path too. That way you could make your path bigger. And then all you want to do is you can right click and you can go to select. And you can come down to. You can fill it from path, but we could also right click over here. And we could go path to selection if you'd like. And then we could just make a color. I don't know. Choose a blue. And then uh, come back over to your layers. And let's go ahead and make a new layer. And then we could drag and drop the color on there. And then we press control shift. Control shift A to deselect. And then you could turn your path off over here. And there you go. Now we got an arrow. And that's pretty easy. And then now you can just... Click M for your move tool, then make sure it's back uh, onto your layer, and there you go. And now we got that path, 
and I duplicated that on accident. But there you go. Now you got an arrow. Um, the next thing that we could work on is we come over here and it's the same thing. I'll click on the pass tool. Let me move this back to how it was. We click on the pass tool and we come over here and it's the same exact com concept for a star. You just want to click, click and trace around it. Then when you come to the end, you just want to hold down control. And then that way it locks in that selection. And now I'll go ahead and create a new layer. Press OK. Let's move this. Let's make it. Let's turn this layer to white. Just like that. And now we'll create another new layer. That way I could color that. And let's see. We could come back and we'll do that all over again. I'll press Shift T. And it's already on our path. So we'll just go ahead and make this bigger. Just like that and if you could scale it up from here too if you'd like you can see it getting bigger 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 and we just press scale and then press control t oops sorry press m on our keyboard for the new tool make sure we click back on the path and there our path is there we come back over here and we could turn our path on so we could see what we're doing and then make sure that we're on the right layer that we want to color it. And uh, we'll just make this some kind of hot pink or something. Oops, control Z that. We need to go ahead and right click and go path to selection. And press control shift A to deselect. Turn off the path, come back to the layer. Press M on your keyboard for the move tool. If it'll work <clears throat> okay it's and it's still set on the path but we'll just go ahead and and there you go that's how you make basic shapes with the path tool um, I'll come back over here and we'll go ahead and we will do a little bit more of an advanced one so I just got this shape of this game boy here and it's got some rounded edges and stuff like that. So I thought that would be a good example. Um, so I'll just click right here. And then right here. And then if you move this without unclicking, you could go ahead and manipulate your path tool just like that. But I'll control Z that. And we'll just go ahead and click here. And click here and then I'll click back over here and we could hold down uh, control and click to highlight this path again and then keep on holding down control and we can drag out these controls here and you see these control points we can move them just by holding down control and I'll leave this one straight and this is the one that moves the curve so we'll go ahead and Leave that lined up like that. And then to re-highlight this one, we'll just hold down control and click just like that. And we'll go ahead and create a new path here. And then we'll click back down here. And we got the same thing going on. Just hold down control to draw, to bring out the control points. And we'll leave this one straight because we want to make a straight line down here. And then I can re-highlight this one and using control and make sure that one's straight. And then we'll just drag this other one out to make this curve a little bit more curvy. Just like that. And then hold down control and click back over here. So we highlight that control. And then we'll just go all the way down to the bottom here and create another path. And then we'll create another one here. And let's hold down control and draw out these control points to move this path. And we'll click control to go ahead and we'll leave that one straight. And this one's the one that controls the curve. Just like that. And now we'll go ahead and hold down control and click again. And we could just follow along right here. 
and we can move this point just by clicking on it and moving it and we could slide it up and down we could also hold down alt I mean sorry control shift and we could erase paths too just like that just hold down control shift and then hold down control again to re-highlight that and we could start moving along again um, we can move the paths just by clicking on them moving them just like that um, if you hold down alt you can move the whole path instead of just moving one sometimes maybe you want to realign that path that's how just holding down alt and redoing that so me I I kind of just make a bunch of clicks to follow along the line but it's easier if you get used to moving the path along while you're clicking and then we'll just come back up here and control Z that and we'll just click there to re highlight that and then we'll come down here and I just turn this one into the connecting point just hold down control and connect it and now the path is connected so if we make a new layer press OK and uh, I don't know turn that kind of bluish gray come back over here turn our path on and if we we could go path to selection and then control shift a to deselect we could turn that path back off uh, just press M on your keyboard to get rid of that path and there you go now you see that we got the shape around that path um, there's a few other things we right click here uh, we could go ahead and we could copy the path and repaste it we could stroke the path so We'll stroke the line. Let's see, we'll do solid color and I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that and we'll stroke it with black. So whatever color you have chosen over here as your foreground will be what it strokes with. So we'll right click and we will go ahead and I don't know, make it a thick one and click stroke and go ahead and turn the path off and now you see that the path is stroked and so that's how you do that um let's see go ahead and turn that off and we can press ok and go ahead and go to our gradient tool And let me just go ahead and move this under just like that. And control Z that let's move this under. Let's go ahead and move that down just like that, just to give it a background. And then we can go ahead and You could always refollow along your path and then just work the inside and so on and so forth. Um, let's see. So we got basic shapes. I'll do one more shape. Let's turn that back on. Um, we come here and let's go ahead and trace around this. Zoom in farther here. Oops, I lost that. There it is. And just hold down. Let's move this path up. And let's hold down control and click there. And let's go ahead and press shift T to bring up our scale tool. And it's still on path. So let's go ahead and scale this path up. work on 
make it something more manageable. Click on scale and we'll come back over here to our path and we'll re-highlight it. Let's turn this layer off so we can see what we're doing. Press M on our keyboard. Let's make sure that's on path so we can move our path around and that's fine there. Let's go ahead and click an odd color. We'll go ahead and just right click and do a path to selection. Drag and drop the color there. Let's turn that layer back on. Let's press Control Shift A to deselect. Turn our path off. And there you go. And now we can put our move tool back to our layer. And we can go ahead and move these around. And that's pretty much it um, on the pass tool. The pass tool is not hard to understand. It's not hard to, to work. Um, you just got to get used to it a little bit. That's, that's uh, <laughs> pretty much all I can say about the, the pass tool. It's, uh, I use it a lot because it's a lot more better than the lasso tool. Um, because, and especially on my GIMP, for some reason, the lasso tool don't, don't work right anymore. I think that's pretty much it. So I hope that the part two of this helped some of you guys out on making some basic shapes, uh, making a star. It's totally up to you guys. Um, I just suggest if you need a shape, just go ahead and find some patterns of the shape that you need. And if you want to use the pass tool to trace around it, go ahead and do that. Or just if you got good uh, muscle memory in your brain, go ahead and do it off of your brain. But thank you and have a great day. Please like and subscribe for tons more video.